You know those reality TV shows where it seems like right at the last minute they're managing to pull something off? I kind of feel like I'm in one of those right now. Here we are less than a week before class, and yeah, I'm taking it back apart. I hadn't put the legends on yet because we weren't sure how we were doing it. But yeah, also decided I'm going to change the style of buttons that we're using. So we're continuing to evaluate the Schneider Electric push buttons. And a couple, a couple things to look for in them is, one, just the simple ease of installing and removing contacts. But while it doesn't seem like a big deal from the factory, these come with the screws unscrewed, which can be a big time saver when you're building a panel. Of course, like every job, I got to do it twice. I was trying to make it where they would be able to read no as normally open instead of them thinking it was on but it wasn't thinking that when you're actually thinking about the orientation that means i put all the buttons in upside down which is no big deal on a button but when i get it in my selector switch it, it wants to look that way so here we go again take them back out and of course I realized I did not get an illuminated white light in the new button style. And also these are supposed to be black, which yes, they are correct. This is spare one, this is spare two. And the reason for that is we actually run different programs depending on which group that you're in. So sometimes spare one has one purpose. Sometimes it has a different purpose, which I'm hoping to make some overlays for the whole door to kind of solve that whole problem, make them easily changeable. But and here's a little tip if you ever come to my class. Which program you get has to do with how much you guess. The more you guess, the more difficult the program. The more that the group seems like they're logically troubleshooting, the easier the program. The easiest program is actually the one we call the animal program. The hardest program is the 50 state program. So if you end up with a lot of U.S. state names, then you know you were a guessing group. Now obviously on this one, our doors are going to be open a whole lot. And what I find people do is they grab whatever screwdriver is in the hand, which is usually one of these terminal block screwdrivers. They come down here and you look at these and they're chewed all to pieces. So if you have a door that's gonna be opened a whole lot, then get you a regular latch instead of that little screwdriver latch. Yeah, that'll make for a lot smoother operation. Also for my brake panel, I'm gonna put one key on there. Not that I'm trying to prevent them from seeing it. If you come to my class, it'll be letting you look at all the breaks and everything. But it's not a, it's not an area that actually has anything that's going to be helpful to them as far as doing their troubleshooting. Yesterday, we conjured up some good magic smoke. Yummy. Now, I'm just going to take the cover off of that relay. In that case, it works slightly easier on the new one. So, yeah, just got to do a little wrestling match now. A little wrestling. See if we can peel that plastic back off of it. This side will probably melted up that way. There we go. So, now Ooh. we take the good relay, put it on the bad one, and now semi looks like it's burnt, and it'll smell like it's burnt. I don't think this will be exciting, but just in case, power on. And we crank our, let's see, we need to crank our volts up. No. Oh. There we go. So 0.9 amp, pulling about one volt. So now we just want to crank that wide open. Yeah. I didn't think it would be really exciting, but I think we blew it. Actually, I got looking, it did a decent job. That way, when they pull this out and they own it, they can be like, yep, it's definitely burnt. And we can talk about checking pieces. And it's the small things, but yeah, now it will operate just like it should. And when we simulate a fuse breaking, that also gives them a blown fuse indicator. There's a little bit of a trail of where to go to, but then we can talk about the things would be interrupting an output circuit, mainly our safeties and some type of circuit protection. Very similar to the panel latches from earlier. If you're gonna have something that they need to take off all the time, eh, put a couple thumb screws in there. Make it a little easier. That way we can keep on troubleshooting. 